for new this season. $19.98, the price for the collection, and once again, free shipping. So I'd in invite you to think about multiples here. Um, this is one of those hybrids that yes. is the best of both the yes. French you're, you're right. and French. English. Yes. And it is it's hearty and yet yes. still beautifully fragrant. You're absolutely right because everybody loves the fragrance of lavender. And there's two main varieties. The French, which is known for its high oil content mm -hmm. and beautiful sweet fragrance. And then the English, which is known for its never say die winter hardiness down to minus 20 degrees. Mm -hmm. So these are a hybrid of both and also hybrid colors. Look at that folks on your screen right now. That's a pink lavender, rare hard to find in almost no garden centers have I ever seen pink lavender. And that's a three-year-old plant, Jane. Okay. These uh, plants can produce by their third year when they're full grown over 1,000 stems wow. a season of this lavender. Is, this is like the uh, the hair of your um, garden. It's where you get the visual, that kind of fireworks look because oh, of the yeah. way that these beautiful stems look. Um, so the one in front of you, Cord, is, is what pink. you're calling the pink. And yes. this does have a beautiful purple undertone, but of yes, course there's beautiful. such a range of purples and pinks yes, in that. Yes, you're absolutely right. This is your white. Again, Snowy you're almost white. doing like your Americana red, white, and blue Almost, type thing yeah, yeah. Here. It's pretty close. Um, and then this is what's called blue, but the blue also has a periwinkle undertone to it. It does. Mm -hmm. it, it's closer to your traditional purple lavender. Lavender. But mm -hmm. in the industry, they love to fudge. They call a lot of things blue when it's really purple. Yeah, but yeah. that's it. You know, mm -hmm. that's fun. Why not? We're gardeners. Yeah. But this is a three-piece collection. They're winny, winter hardy, never say die. They have a high oil content because they are bred with mm -hmm. the French, which means you get that sweet perfume that wafts through the air and you know the sense of memory um, is this your your memory is tied to the sense of smell that's right more than, any more than anything other. that is yeah mm -hmm. and I have a memory when I was a little boy sitting in a laundry basket filled <laughs> of lavender sachets that my grandmother was making to take to the fairs and flower shows and and they would sell the plants and and um, also uh, the sachets, uh -huh. but I want to show you, this is what you're going to get, Jane, okay. these three pieces. Now, these have already been vernalized. They're color-coded, uh, so you know when you pick up okay. several sets, maybe you pick up three sets, you want to put all the three uh, pinks in, in one area. area. So uh -huh. we, we do that make it easy for you. But they have been vernalized, which means they've had their first season of cold weather. That gets them to bloom and grow even faster, faster. for you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so you dig a hole. Now, believe it or not, um, these love the hot, dry soil. Mm. I used to say crappy mm -hmm. soil until they told me not to say crappy anymore. But <laughs> this is what they like. And, and they thrive on neglect. So that's all you have to do. You put them in the sun. They love the hot, full sun. They do love uh, just a little bit of water. Once they're established, mm -hmm. Mother Nature will take care of them. And because of the fragrance, they're going to attract all and, the pollen. And this is what we ultimately so look can forward dry. to. Let's make some potpourri. You can dry it and make the potpourri. I, yes. I know, mm -hmm. I, oh, I know sorry. that Pat knows how to do this. I didn't know you this. were behind me. Pat, you want to help you guys? <laughs> I do. Sure. Right, you know what? So. I also, you can make a really good craft with this. Please tell us. Take the uh, glass votive. Take, and I finally figured it out because I was doing it the hard way. Take the mm. tape that you use to stick a carpet down, oh, so a ru good. that rug carpet tape, yep. and put it around, and then just break these off and put that around the outside. It looks really pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it smells so wonderful. It smells, you you smell, once you start breaking uh, these open and just feel it, that it's all, it's in your fingers. You just want to yeah. put it behind your ear. And it's, it it's called so the Swiss Army knife of herbs. <laughs> You know, if you picked up our uh, caprese salad mix, mm -hmm. plant these among your vegetables, your tomatoes, because it keeps away <gasps> yes. the ants, okay. the aphids, the caterpillars, the ticks, the fleas. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. indoors, it's going to repel moths, silverfish, ants, and those awful stink bugs. Oh my gosh, bugs. I love that. And yeah. get your little sachets. Yes. You can fill these up and then use them throughout your home. Oh my gosh, Put them in the so drawers. Um, yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. They I mean, just you can just tie burlap mm -hmm. around that. I mean, there's so much you can do with and lavender. And look at them in a border, girls. Beautiful. You know, pick up several sets. You can line just a walkway. Just don't overwater them the way no, I No, you're right. Them. You don't overwater them. It's a drought-tolerant plant. Mm -hmm. You dry the stems like we were showing. And you tie them up with a rubber band. It takes about two or three weeks tie to dry. Tie them up, hang it upside down. Hang them upside down. Mm -hmm. And now you're looking at the blue. Mm. It's a three-piece, so you're going to get the blue. They're full-grown in three years. Mm -hmm. And a full-grown plant is about three foot wide and three foot high. Right. I love this. Because how often do you ever see Look at that. white 
lavender. I mean, it's gorgeous. Rose. And then the fragrance. Can you imagine? Yes, they um, all have that sweet fragrance. I want to encourage you to pick up more than one. Um, these now 4,000. Wow. For, spoken 4,500 spoken for already this month. We haven't even been here a week. Uh, oh Tomorrow we'll make a week. Really? <laughs> so, yeah. So people love these. I this love is garden fan. planting season. I love that fan effect. So yes. because they stand at about two inch, two feet high, mm -hmm. they start to fall forward. And yet there's so much green and lush as they open up and fan towards the ground. Yes. They just are so beautiful. I love so the way beautiful. you describe that. Uh -huh. It's so poetic. And you know, they don't uh, drop their leaves in the winter time. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can go out and cut these and, and put little sachets around the home. Mm -hmm. And you guys may have already mentioned this, but I wanted to reiterate, um, Pat made a, gave a really great DIY idea. Mm -hmm. And when I was living in France, I spent a whole year in Aix-en-Provence, so really close to where all of the lavender fields are. And that's where I really learned to appreciate lavender in food. Mm -hmm. So when you dry you. them, you can make potpourris, but you can also add them to your kitchen teas. spice cabinets, they to make your wonderful tea, teas, yeah. um, mm -hmm. herbs de Provence, it's one of the main. Rubs mm -hmm. on your uh, meats if you're a meat Yeah, eater. there you go. So mm -hmm. you, the, the versatility of lavender, right. that's why it's a in Swiss your lemonade. army yeah. And it adds what kind of a flavor to, say, uh, um, it's. People would think that it's very floral, but it's not. It's, it's just, not. it kind of ties in with like the oregano and the mm. thyme that you have. Oh, okay. So it makes for a really beautiful Mediterranean flavor. Mm -hmm. nice. Just Google like that uh, lavender recipe. Right. You will find yeah. uh, yes. tons of them. And the growing guide and our Gotta Grow guarantee mm -hmm. are included with each one of these plants. And I did want to say that um, among all the plants that we offer, these are deer and rabbit um, resistant plants. These are so yeah. popular. Um, and again, they just make such like a show off statement in your, in your garden um, against walls. I don't think there's uh, ever been an image mm -hmm. of an English garden or French mm -hmm. garden for mm -hmm. that matter, that didn't have lavenders in rows and runs. You're, it, that's it how is, important they are uh -huh. around the world, the French and the English. You're right, you wouldn't have a garden without them, mm -hmm. and we certainly don't. All of us in our family uh, love lavender. It's among the very first plants that my grandmother uh, started. My grandmother's named Sylvia. Oh, we, Sylvia. We named the uh -huh. uh, business after my mom, Roberta. So right. this is going back a further okay. generation. But uh, this is among the very first plants that we as a family mm -hmm. now for four going on five generations has ever sold. And look at those clouds of pink. One of my sister's favorite fragrances, actually, lavender. Mm. It's very calming. Uh, this is, is M61885, $19.98 cents for a three-piece pink, white, and blue hearty lavender assortment. Place your orders for that. Once again, here's your uh, growing map. Yes, thank you, Jane. So now is garden planting season. It would be rude of us to send out your plants now when it's so cold outside. So we send them out at just the right time for you. You can find your uh, state. Notice the color on the bottom. There's a color-coded key with a date. That's the week that we ship to you, Jane. Thank you, Court. And we do have a Gotta Grow guarantee. On top of QVC's 30-day money-back guarantee, we're going to assure your 